Okay, so in this problem we have a solid spinner. Uh, a solid spinner has basically two containers. The inside is perforated, which is what we're talking about here. And it's perforated because the water is small enough to go out through. So basically when we start spinning stuff, um, everything wants to continue in a straight line, but because it's up against the wall, the lettuce is turned in that circular path where it lies up against the wall, but the water is small enough that it flies out, um, and it's then contained by a outside container. This also works uh, when you wash your clothes in a washing machine, right? The last cycle where it's spinning really fast, right? That's exactly what it's doing. It's basically it has holes in the outer wall in the wall of the washer, and as the clothes spin around faster and faster it's a good way to extract as much water as possible. Anyway, so the issue with this problem uh, is that we want to calculate the centripetal acceleration, which is the acceleration of the um, a point. So if you were, uh, I guess, a piece of lettuce that got stuck onto the wall, it would be the acceleration of the lettuce, right? Since it's moving at a constant angular velocity, it's moving at a constant velocity, but since the direction is changing, that's why we have an acceleration. We're going to calculate in terms of angular. Angular velocity is not given to us uh, in terms of the right units here. So the first thing we're going to do is convert um, the 2.89 revolutions per second. Uh, 2.89 revolutions second right and we want to convert that into radians so we multiply by 2 pi uh, basically in one revolution there would be 2 pi radians or 360 degrees um, and so when we multiply this out we end up with approximately uh, 18.16 uh, radians per second and then we can drop that in, making sure that we convert the radius uh, into meters. So the acceleration that we calculate is going to be 11.2. Uh, oops, that's not right. I just got through saying that. It's going to be 0 0.112 meters times uh, the number that we just got here, right? 18.16 squared. And that comes out to... 36.9 uh, and the centripetal acceleration would be in meters per second squared because it's still an acceleration. Um, angular acceleration would be done in radians per second squared, um, but this is your final answer.